Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Titus with Mid Valley Mercenaries and today I'm gonna be reviewing the Flyway Insulated Hooded Jacket. So this jacket right here, I consider it a puffy and I think it's an amazing jacket. I have so many experiences and stories I could share with you that would convince you that this is one of the top uh, waterfowl hunting jackets and puffy so to speak that you really, really should think about looking into. Before I get into it, I wanna let you guys know that we do have a playlist with all the Kuyu waterfowl gear, all those videos in one. So if you wanna check out all these pieces um, and you're curious to get into this line or maybe just specific ones, you can go in there and see which videos you wanna watch. Or if you wanna watch them all, you start at the beginning and it, YouTube will automatically play all of them for you. So with this jacket, I'd first like to start with the waterproof cuffs basically they got like a gasket here on the cuff that is rubberized that keeps the water from going down your sleeve there is nothing more frustrating especially if you have a dog when you're a waterfowl hunter is to grab a duck out of the water or your dog's right next to you or you're touching your dog or petting your dog and you go to raise your arms and a whole stream of water runs down and gets you wet there's nothing more frustrating than that and I love the fact that on a puffy or a regular jacket, a waterfowl jacket, that they decided to be smart and put these cuffs in there like that. And I'm telling you what, it's a game changer. Like, it's straight up a game changer. And you can basically do it one of two ways. You can pull these cuffs out, basically, and have it sitting on the outside so it touches that cuff first before it ever touches your sleeves. Or I put, it, I put my hands through, it kind of locks around your wrist, and then I tuck it back in the other way, personally, and then it's just that cuff showing. So each to his own, but that's what I like. It's just nice when you're going to grab a duck out of the water, you're touching your dog, or you know, you go grab something with water, like the duck out of the water, and you go to put your hand up when you're holding your, your shotgun. That's when water likes to go down, and that eliminates that. As far as warmth goes, this jacket really impressed me because it's honestly fairly thin. It's got baffles, so they call these baffles, and that's how they, uh, designed it. It's Prima Loft, and so to keep the body heat in, this is why they did this design. Um, I don't know all the details. You can go on their site if you want to get more specific, but it's like that on this whole the whole back of this piece and down the arms. What's insane about this jacket is how quick it dries. It's water resistant to a point, but it's not waterproof, right? It's, it's basically like a puffy. But if it does get wet, so one time I was flying in our boat trying to get the spot we seen a bunch of birds working so we were trying to hustle and i left it in my boat and when i jumped in my boat i forgot it was laying kind of in a weird spot in the boat and i gunned my the motor and took off and that uh this jacket went flying out the back of the boat caught the wind it was super windy that day when the water and was just soaking up the water like it was in the water and it's just soaking up water i pull it out and it's just dripping right and i'm like oh my goodness this thing's not gonna be dry forever you know Mind you, that day was about 15 miles an hour, blowing out the north, so it was cooler wind, and it was blowing pretty hard. Well, I uh, I draped it over a tree that we were by, basically unzipped it, draped it over the tree. I'm not exaggerating when I say 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Harrison went by and goes, dude, your jacket's dry. And I mean, it was, it was soaked. Like, I'm talking, wringing out, just water pouring, and it was dry as a bone in like 20 minutes. So I was like, Honestly, I was kind of astounded by that. I was like, okay, that is not what I expected. I feel like this thing was gonna be wet forever. Um, the next thing is the hood. I loved how, personally, how they designed the hood. First off, more than anything, is how they designed it to when you throw it back off your head, how it basically almost, it almost hits flush at the back. Instead of this massive hood that's kind of sticking up on the back of your head and like driving you nuts when you're trying to shoot or look around. See, it, it basically, like if you're looking at it from here, I mean, you can see from the side like how flat that sits compared to when it's over on the top of your head like this. But it can, like sometimes when I, when I don't want to wear it or whatever, I sit here and slap it and it just, it flattens out in the back and it's pretty thin. So it's pretty awesome. I really like that design. And also when you're turning your head, it's not really bunching up to where you're like staring out the inside of your hood, you know? They did make it where the zipper comes all the way up and it kind of hides itself underneath that little piece right there. They've got two chest pockets and these are really, really handy to put, you know, phone, wallet, hunting license, any of that stuff in. 
The color on this piece is ash. It's one of my favorite colors. Um, I really like solids right now. But if you look at Velo, their camo pattern, it's kind of like it's mixed in with that. This color is mixed in there. So you can mix, match your pieces and it looks fine. It looks great actually. So on this, it's got the chest pockets, but it's also got the side pocket. Uh-oh. For when you're wearing waders. So when you're wearing waders, you could still have high pockets to put your hands into. And these are Sherpa fleece lines. So very comfortable. And a little secret that I like about these two is it's got two magnets on the edge. So when you let it go, you hear that click? It basically, when you're wearing it, it just self clicks itself back and closed to keep that flush and to keep stuff from going inside there until you put your hands in. You slip it in there and warm those bad boys up and you're good to go. Um, I wore this all season, as you could tell, like you see no wear and tear, like nothing snagged or caught anything weird. Um, this is wore, like I said, a whole duck season and I did feel myself snag several things and it never, never did anything. I forgot to mention on the hood, it does have the cinch so you can tighten it down and kind of lock it more in your head. So even better for turning and looking for birds. What I do like about this is say they put these pockets in and Tom like, well, he, they're good to go now. They don't need no more. Well, Kuyu went above and beyond and put lower pockets too. So if you are just wearing it like a regular jacket, you're not wearing waders or whatever, and you're wearing this out in the town, you have the lower pockets too. But it's funny, when you do have upper, upper pockets, I find myself more sticking my hands up there. Even when I'm not wearing waders, just resting. It's like a comfortable position, so. But if you do like the lower ones, they got the magnets on those two, and those are fleece lined as well. Another clutch move on this jacket is the pit zips. So in the pit, they also have the zips. You get some breathability there, and really is very, very nice. So. Another little experience as far as warmth of this jacket goes. You say, how warm is that jacket? Well, I was kind of wondering that myself too because I have past experience of wearing like Sitka's Duck Oven and that's an amazing jacket. It really is. It's a great jacket. But I was like, okay, how cold is it going to be able to get wearing this jacket where I'm like, okay, I still need another layer. Now, mind you, we're base, we're layering everything, right? You got the base layer, the 145 zip tee, you got the 290 strong fleece zip, and there's some other things you can wear in between the 145 zip tee and the strong fleece, but whatever, this goes on. So me, Harrison, and, and John were on a hunting trip, and it was about 25 degrees, and we're gonna be in the boat. Now the boat is going 25 to 30 miles an hour, so you gotta basically count that as wind chill. So you're already at 25 degrees, early in the morning, it's dark, you're on the water, and I'm thinking, okay, I told Harrison, this is gonna be a test to say how warm is this really and what is it gonna be able to push me through? Because this is basically wind resistant too, right? The material in this really blocks a lot of the wind coming in. So I said, okay, I was wearing my Merino 145 zip tee. I put on the Strong Fleece 290 and this. I said, okay, it's 25 degrees and we're gonna be going 25 miles an hour. I'm gonna have a wind chill of 25, right? And we, it was about a 20, 25 minute boat ride and Harrison basically had on the same thing. He has all this Kuyu gear as well. And we got to spot and in my mind I was thinking, I cannot believe it. I'm not chilled at all. I'm not even thinking about being cold or on the borderline, but I'm a little bit warm nature, right? So I'm thinking it's probably just me. When we got there, I go, Harrison, did you get cold at all? And he's all, not a bit. He goes, I cannot believe how warm this is for what little that I'm actually wearing. And I said, dude, I'm the same way. I can't believe it, I'm completely shocked. So if that gives you any reference to what this can do, you know, that wind chill had to be 10 to 15 degrees, I don't know. And I wasn't even thinking about getting cold and we're sitting in a boat. It's not like we're even walking. So imagine if you tried to hike in this at all, I'm telling you, you warm up quick. At the bottom, it does have the cinch strap. So you can cinch it up at the bottom as well if you wanna just kinda really tuck it up and have it nice and, and solid on you. On the inside, a pocket to put whatever in. You know, I'm not sure what she would want to stick in there. Something that probably won't worry about falling out, but in the same time, I mean, it, there's no way it's gonna fall out. It's pretty deep, but it's a mesh pocket. And then here on the left side is your inner pocket that you can use. So basically if it was wear like this, you could slip your right hand in, put your, your phone in there. And that's, that's what I've done. If you wanna put a license or anything inside there, you got that inside the left pocket. All in all, I love this jacket. It is a great purchase worth every single dime and you will not regret it. Before we wrap up this video, I just want to throw in the flyway insulated vest as well. Um, just because it'd be too short of a video by itself. It's just a vest, but man, vests um, have started to become my new best friend. 
it's nice to have that core warm, have your arms free. Just real quick to go over, it's almost identical besides the hood to the flyweight insulated hooded jacket. It's got the front, two front chest pockets, Sherpa fleece lined upper pockets for the waders. It's got the lower pockets, and just so you can also see it also in the Velo too, right? Because the last one was ash. You got those two lower ones, and then on the inside, you got the same exact pockets. You got the deep netted one, and then you got the also left side uh, chest pocket where you can uh, put a phone or whatever you guys want to put in there. And then you can also cinch it at the bottom. So another great piece right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it helped you out. If it did, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see waterfowl hunting videos. And we'll see you guys on the next one.